Alright, hello and welcome to this Dampier educational get out of my screen, thank you. <laughs> so, we've done a, a few educationals on this hero before. Sadly, those games have been, in my opinion, very short or very um, boring. They One of them was like 17 minutes, and I, you, you guys know I kind of want my educationals to be around 30-40 minutes, because then you have time to talk about early, mid, and starting of late game. But 15 minutes is not long enough for me. It was a very action-packed game, but it wasn't, in my opinion, it was too short. So, now we're gonna be... Oh, no. Oh, he's back, okay. Uh, now we're gonna be back to Dampir again. Uh, first of all, you got your Terrorize ability, which is your Q. It's a very, very short radius, probably around... this, maybe? Uh, deals uh, a significant, uh, significant amount of damage, as well as fierce people for a short uh, second. Then we have Vampiric Flight, which is basically that you leap at them, you steal uh, life and deal damage, and the more creeps you leap through, the more you heal. Uh, then we have your E ability, which is Blood First, which gives you and everyone around you a certain amount of life steal. And at last we have Ultimate, which is Consume. You target a hero, you deal single target yeah. damage, and you heal equally to how much damage you deal. But the big factor about this ultimate is that if you have uh, free chargers on your ultimate, all of your abilities get boosted. Your E gives you attack speed, your W deals more damage and heals more, your Q deals more damage and increases the fear duration. So uh, the, your ultimate, it's very important to have your ultimate at free charges uh, whenever possible. Now, the best item for this uh, hero would be uh, Gr is Grimmar. Because Grimmar not only increases the damage and uh, of all your abilities, it also gives you permanent regen uh, of mana, so you can just keep on spamming your spells. And it's just a really, really strong hero to pick off heroes. Like, you want to have this hero as sort of a in instantly killing a hero kind of thing. So you will, be, you will most likely be running around as soon as you get your PK and Grimmar and killing one of their important heroes. It's a hero you want to be very, very active with. And it's also, what I f find to be really fun is when you do these huge turnarounds. Like, they initiate on you, they get you really low, and then you use all of your abilities and you're straight back to full life. So it's a hero that you can do a lot of um, turnaround with, which is very, very fun. Uh, is this a de deja vu, or did yeah. Slap try the Imperial Education a few days ago? I just talked about that in the start of this game. And now I lost lane control, damn it. So, I thought, <laughs> yes, I did. And now, regarding skill building, you always want to max out your Vampiric Flight. Not only because it heals you more, like, in terms of raw damage, Terrorize deals more. So if you max out your Terrorize, it will deal a little bit more damage, but maxing out va your Vampiric Flight not only gives you the same cooldown at max level, it also gives you more life regen. So, maxing out your Vampiric Flight will make both spells be at 10 seconds, so you can always use the combo at the same time. Control. Yeah, I was talking and didn't really think about it. Feel it. Eh. Think about it. It's okay. I gotta shut this down. Uh, he's really low by the way, he's using his health pot now. Uh, and now, uh, regarding uh, other min uh, items, I really like to have uh, steam boots on this hero. I don't feel like this is a ghost marcher's hero, I really like having the, tread the steam boot swap, sorry. Uh, when I use this hero, like uh, the mana could be really, really clutch. I remember my last educational with them here, the one that I sadly didn't upload. I think there was three or four times in this game where I swapped to in steam boots and instantly killed two people, which I never would have been able to do with ghost marshers because I wouldn't have enough mana. So not only is it a great item for giving you attack speed and being able to get you uh, tread swap, it also allows you to use your spells way off, way more often. So I really like steam boots uh, on this hero. And, in order for you to be able to sustain your mana in the early stages of the game, I like to have a Chalice, because your abilities allows you to heal all the damage lost from a Chalice. And that will also allow you to have early mana regen. So the item build you'll most likely see on most Dampiers is Boots into Chalice, into Grimoire, into PK. That's the build you'll see in almost pretty much every game. And the Boots of choice is different from player to player, but I personally prefer Steam Boots over Ghost Marchers way, way higher. Uh, minimap, yeah, sorry. Uh, you are correct, sir. Let me fix that in a second. Hiya! I'm not gonna get this cape unless he hits it. Thank you. You are very correct. There we go. It's fine, we'll kill him soon. 
I think we can kill him now if he's too far up. <clears throat> so yeah, Grimoire is an item I feel like you want to get on Dampir pretty much every single game. It's just such a great item on Dampir. It gives you, like I said, permanent regen. You never want to have to worry about mana. And it also is just a great item because it increases all of your abilities. Because all of your abilities are magic damage. You won't deal a lot of physical until later stages of the game when you have more items. And Grimoire, is kind of, it kind of allows you to one-shot pretty much anyone. Which is what makes it such a strong item on up here. I can try and make him leap. Okay, there we go. I got two spells with Thread Swap. Hey, have zero no, 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 no. Uh, yeah. All right, I'm getting really close to double spells. Uh, count the time, 30 seconds from now. This leap is up. Yeah. About five minutes in, the leap is up. No, it should be only at 35 seconds. Like Tweezy, Rima can pick Balfagor. No, you, I, I asked you guys, you guys voted for Dampir, so now you get Dampir. <laughs> Got both spells now. This is leap us up in 10 seconds. Or I guess 5, considering 35 seconds. I thought, isn't it 40 seconds level 1? Maybe. Then go, 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 go. Let's see. Oh. Okay, I'm done. Yeah. yeah. Wouldn't have killed him there, so I I hesitated on terrorize because I thought I don't want to use all my mana in case he gets away, so hesitated right there. Just wait for level six and we can burst him down straight away. I have both spells soon as well, by the way. You can go. Ooh, do you have wall? I'm spells, I'm just no. Okay, okay, never mind. Then. I'm gonna just gonna get my shadows and we gotta kill. Uh, does Grimoire also increase how much heal you get from ult? Yes, precisely. So Grimoire, like I said, not only increases your damage, it just makes all of your abilities stronger. Because your ulti heals you for as much damage as your ulti deals. So if your ulti deals a thousand damage, you're gonna heal a thousand damage. So it's a very, very good item on them here. Let's get, send our Chalice here so we got permanent mana. Now, the question you want to ask yourself here is, do you want to use your ulti already to start building up your charges? The, the answer to that question currently is no, because you might be able to get a kill on Valkyrie if you don't use it. But the regular answer to that question is yes, because you don't want to sit on one charge or zero charges with Vampire. You always want to have three of them. So even using it on creeps to build it up is really good. But considering I fe feel like that we can actually kill the Valkyrie with my ulti, I'm gonna save it. Oh, and something I forgot to mention, by the way, is that when you play them here, um, and you ulti a creep, you get one charge, but if you get a finishing blow on an enemy hero, you get three charges. So if you ulti a hero, then you get three charges. And if he dies, I think it's within... Wait, did I change that? I remember that I personally thought it was only on a killing blow, but someone told me otherwise. I'm not sure if that was true, or if I got trolled, but as far as I remember, it's on a killing blow. But someone told me otherwise. I'm not sure if that was true. Anyway, we'll see that when I ulti, but... Previously, you needed to get free charges by last hitting with your ultimate. Someone told me it's not like that anymore. So in that case, I have learned something new. <laughs> but... Uh, normally, you want to get the killing blow on your ulti to get free charges. But we'll see what uh, happens here later. But yeah, I'm gonna start using my ulti now because Valkyrie is uh, ganking, he's not top anymore, so it's time to start using my ulti because when Valkyrie is back top, I'll have my ulti ready again. So, we're gonna start using our ulti now and just try and get free charges up. The CD is really short uh, short on your ultimate, so you don't, want, you don't have to sit and save it. Unless you, like me, thought the Valkyrie would come top soon so you could get the killing blow. If you ulti here and it's not finishable, you'll get one charge. Okay, well then I was fucking correct. Hey, well, my well then I was correct, so never mind then. Someone told me that um, they changed that, but then I was correct, so never mind. I was originally correct, and I got trolled by my Twitch chat. So, um, yeah, hey. Alright, so that's probably Valkyrie. We're getting close to our free charges, which is good. Oh, that's Bubbles. What the hell? No, I just started Mr. Russian. <clears throat> now, the biggest thing about Dampir and the way you want to use Dampir is you want to kill stacks because when at the time you get your Light Brand, you will have pretty much unlimited mana. So, you always want to be like it's one of the yeah, best so heroes in the game of clearing stacks, like just hands down. So, using uh, your abilities to clear stacks later is something we're going to be doing. I will be showing you how fast it is. 
Uh, he's gonna take cover my Vampiric Flight, then we can try and go. Damage. I'm just gonna ulti this creep here. So we got free charges. Uh, also, something to mention is that when you use your Chalice and you're not gonna get full mana, drop your Neophyte's book and use it like this. You always wanna use your Chalice on Strength Steam Boots, and you wanna drop your Neophyte's book when using it, because th that way you get the most amount of mana possible out of your Chalice. This time I was getting uh, full mana, so it didn't really matter, but otherwise you want to try and do that because that way you'll use the most efficient mana possible. Anyway, I got free charges now, which means that all my abilities are uh, in increased and improved, so we should be able to burst anyone down right now. Alright, Light Brand finished, that means that our mana region problems is pretty much gone, and now we're gonna start rotating towards the jungle to get some stacks, and possibly get a kill on Valkyrie top soon. But there's a stack right here that I'm gonna triple now, and I'm gonna also stack the pull, and we should be able to get some good farm. Oh, this is triple already, actually, I didn't see that. So, right, you stacked last second, I guess. Alright, that's good. Why not drop all items? Because Steam Boots doesn't give you any mana. The only thing that gives me mana right now is my Minor Totem. Like, uh, Strength Steam Boots doesn't give you any bigger mana pulls, so I don't need to drop that. Gonna get one point in E, because I'm gonna be jungling. <sighs> Make sure you use your ability on in Steam Boots, as you can see right here. And then I'm gonna drop the light brand once again when using the chalice to make sure for maximum mana potential. Oh shit! I didn't drop it. Oops. To make sure that I get as much mana as possible. I misclicked there. I thought I dropped it on the ground, but I didn't. So that's really good. Got two stacks cleared very fast. It's pointless to drop the minor totem. It's not that big of a deal. It takes time. <laughs> Tend intellect though, or intelligence. Sorry, is uh, however a big difference. You'll go bottom tunnel. Alright, so no, the at the point, like, there's gonna be a point, like, as, as you can see right now, it's 11 minutes in, I still haven't been part of a kill. Sometimes you can consider getting a PK earlier, like, after your light brand, to try and set some kills up and try and roam, help your team out. But most of the time you wanna finish your Grimmar first. Oh, fuck me, I'm dead. Wait, what, who's that? I don't know, Solstice, I'm dead. Uh, most of the time you want to finish your Grimmar first, because that's when you start, like, just completely snowball all the control. Your GPM will rise by a million, and you can just, like I said, pretty much one-shot anyone. So at the time you get your Grimmar, uh, you want, like, you want to have your PK. But, in a game like this, where the Legion, Legion team is a little bit ahead, you could consider the fact of getting a PK first to try and set up some kills. Now, this was a little bit greedy. I did not expect Bubbles to be there. I should have probably done that, considering he wasn't on the minimap anywhere. And then instant TP from Solstice, a good response by the Legion team. It was a dive that was very unnecessary. So let's just go back to farming. I'm 466 GPM right now. I was probably 480 before I died. So I'm doing good. And with that high GPM, I will be able to finish my Grimoire very soon. Now, let's see here. Silhouette sitting on Ghost Marchers. Uh, okay. Now the bad thing here is that Silhouette's Null Stone is obviously going to be a little bit of a problem. Because I won't be able to use my Vampiric Flight on, um, on Silhouette. So that, that's going to suck a little bit, but uh, I'll Vampiric Flight and then try and kill her with my Q and uh, W. Uh, Q and ulti, sorry. What about Rune and Dampir? No, never. As I said, you want to build uh, you want to build this Dampir as a, like... Uh, throughout 80% of the game, you're going to be dealing your damage in terms of magic damage, not physical. Rune Cleaver doesn't really help you out with anything except give you clear on creeps, and your spells already de do that. Like, if you're getting Cleaver just to farm faster, look at how much damage my spells are doing right now. There's no reason to you don't do need You don't need a Cleaver to clear stacks at all. So, um... Yeah, like the... Uh, yeah. Anyway. R Rune Cleaver, very bad in Dampir. You, you use spells for farming, you don't need a Rune Cleaver. Grimmar offers you so much more. It boosts your entire hero and your farm. Like, it boosts everything you need, pretty much. It's just a waste of gold buying um, a Cleaver. And it doesn't really, like, it doesn't synergize with the hero at all. Anyway, I'm definitely gonna go Grimmar this game because. Um, 
Uh, sorry, Grimmar before PK because I feel like I'm, I I want to get those items before. Uh, why didn't you kill the camps outside? Because I was going towards the lane after those two camps, and the camps will be respawning that now when I'm back in the jungle. So it was a waste of time killing them outside. So I killed them inside because I was going to the lane straight after killing the camps. Otherwise, I would have killed them outside. And no one else is farming the jungle right now, so it would be a complete uh, a waste of time just killing them outside. Oh shit, use it on Steam, which... Alright. After you get your Grimoire, you no longer have to worry about dropping items. Like, your mana region will be completely full at all times. So, dropping your life brand right now is worth it, because you will be running out of mana every now and then. But when you get your Grimoire, you don't have to, because your mana will not never be that low. So, when you have your life brand, try and drop it every now and then to use your Chalice. Like right now, for example, but when you have your Grimoire, you don't have to worry about it. It's uh, not going to be a big deal. Invisibility. Yep, ghosting. Wait, is he ghosting? He counted this one. Okay. He counted that one, and he counted this one, both after like four minutes. Yeah. Like he didn't feed them. Like, yeah, I'm blocking them anyway. Just... Alright, let's finish the Grimoire here. Then we're gonna start picking off people. It's really important that I'm gonna be making a lot of plays here with the Grimoire. It's like I'm gonna be the decider, deciding factor of this game. If you look at how it's looking right, uh, like how it's looking right now, they're pretty far ahead in terms of uh, experience, but not that far ahead in kills. So as soon as I get that Grimoire PK, I'm gonna start killing people all the time. Try and not take fight without me, please. Oh god. Tipping, uh, man. I guess we are taking. Fine, peeking. Go, 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 go. I have PK now. I have PK now. We gotta make something happen with this. They're, they're invisible, they're invisible. Yeah, I know. Do we have any dust or anything? No. The Legion have destroyed uh, I Valkyrie have in the background. Alright, so that immediately makes my PK worth it, because I managed to kill one of their stronger heroes, which is Solstice. And I might actually get some... No, they got more here, so... The only reason I bought PK there was because they decided to take a fight without me anyway, which... Um, uh, yeah, well, so I bought the PK because I was porting med, I saw that there was three people right here. I made a decision to sell my TP and buy the PK right away to start doing something. Uh, our Ancients? Right. Awesome. Otherwise I would not have bought the PK, but they took a fight without me, so I figured that in order to be in this fight I need a blink, so I bought it there, just straight out there. As a reflex, figured I needed to. And as you could see, it worked out. We got three kills for it, which was really good. Something we needed. Now let's uh, drop. Wait, my item is getting blocked. Thank you very much, you stupid ancients. Alright, that's really good. Gonna boost my farm. And as you can see, I just bought my blink, but I'm already having like I are, I'm already close to my grandma again. I'm 530 GPM right now. Starting to snowball really, really, really hard, which is exactly what you want to do as a dump here. So we're doing good here now. As soon as I get my Grimoire, I'm going to start moving around even more. Oops, should I drop my light brand? Should have, uh, I'm going to start moving around even more than I am right now, which is going to be good. Got some really good stacks here coming out for my team, as you can see. And this is exactly the way you want to play dump here. You want to have some kind of help stacking to just improve your farm, because the earlier you get your Grimoire blink, the more of a threat you're going to be. I don't need a TP right now. Oh. Uh, give me top lane, please, troll. Yo, yo, troll gay. Can I have top, please? I have Grimoire if you leave me top lane. Hello? No sound? No sound, okay. Hello. Oops. Alright, Grimoire should be finished here any second. We're gonna sell my buckler and just send it out. There we go. Now, on a hero like Dampir, you don't really need your hatchet because, like, normally, as you guys know, when I play carries, I keep my hatchet for a very long time because hatchet increases your farm very, very fast. But on a hero like Dampir, well, you'll be farming the stacks and stuff mostly with your uh, spells. You Wait, what? Oh shit, oops. <laughs> uh, mostly with your spells, you don't really need the hatchet. But I'm gonna keep it over the buckler here now for the coming. Four or five minutes before I move over to another item. 
So we'll be, for the next four or five minutes, I'll keep my hatchet anyway, but keep in mind that a hero like Dampir, it's not as important keeping your hatchet because you will be farming your stacks with spells and not really as much auto attacks. Alright. Moving bottom, let's get this guy. Time to make some stuff happen. I will be the uh, like the ga the the guy who decides the pace of the game now. I'm gonna be the one moving around. I'm gonna be the one setting up ganks. Not like a typical hard carry who shows up for t shows up for team fights. I will be the pace setter of this game. So now it's just gonna be me roaming around, getting as many kills as possible, working towards a shrunken head. They have a lot of stuff on the Legion team that is magic damage and a lot of disables. So a shrunken head will be really good. Oh god. Yeah, yeah, mid, 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 mid. Okay, we're fine. Let's see. Uh, okay. And as you can see right now, using dropping my Grimmar to use Chalice is not necessary anymore because I'm getting that much uh, uh, mana region that it's not that big of a difference anymore. Da -da 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 -da. Right, let's get a TP. Be ready to fight. We want to fight at every single tower now. I'm going to be setting up there already. Um, hey, should be able. Oh, God. Never mind. I can't kill Silhouette. I can almost kill him, though. Yeah. Damn it. If I was level 16, I think I could burst him, but not right now, So, which is why I didn't use my ulti. I removed Nullstone, made him TP back, took away his illusion to remove a little bit of the pressure. And then oh, just move away. I can't attack. kill the silhouette. Someone needs to remove the nullstone, and when someone removes the nullstone, he's instantly dead. He doesn't have a vestment. He has ghost marchers. 1100 life. Easiest kill of my life. Just need someone to remove the nullstone. And now is the time where I want to remove my hatchet for a TP. Good kill, guys. It's cute. You're still trying. Alright. Getting a TP, and I'll be bottom. If they push. Yep, they are pushing. Well, then we kill them. And they counter warning this. Only this. I'm gonna do it now. <laughs> Did they have alcohol? They could have alcohol, but they all disappeared. Mm. No, they did not. They're gonna try and set up on me top. Wait, they're not coming? Oh, there he is. Oh, I might, I might actually be able to get the tower. Could be greedy, but yeah, I'm getting it. The Hellborn have destroyed a Legion tower. All right, is the Ancients triple? Yeah, I'm coming. Right, I'm just gonna push away Solo again. I should get tower tonight here. I got the pistol. No goodies for you. Uh, going Grim, uh, Shrunken Head, as I said, because if you look at their team, Solstice Ult, Scylla has a little bit of magic, Valkyrie's magic, Glacis is magic, Bubbles Coil. There are so many things that they can do to like uh, a little bit like slow me down slash shut me down, which is why Shrunken Head is a necessity this game. We haven't really been able to set up any kills though, which is a little bit sad. I wanted to show you how easy it is to gank with this hero, but they're either running as all five or not really showing on lane, so it's really, really hard for me to set up a kill right now. Do you have ulti? Go. Yeah. Okay, don't go. Not you, City. I talked to you, Tundra. I forgot. Oh, what the hell? I'm frozen. Hey, the save coming out from Rhapsody. Good job. The Hellborn have destroyed a Wait, shit, did I not buy my shrunken? Oops. Will Spellshard working with with it? Yes, yeah, Spellshards works, but it's not a good item. Like after these items, this is where I usually say that you want to go towards a little bit more of a physical route because when people get shrunken heads you need to do some kind of damage. And this is where I like going wing bow, especially against two carries like uh, Silhouette and Valkyrie and even Solstice. I feel <coughs> I feel like wing bow is a very good item. 
So Wingbo is I will be, what I would go next here. Would give me a little bit of physical presence as well as some survivability, and I just generally like it on them here. And after that, it's kind of hard to say. It depends on the game, how many items your opponent has, and uh, stuff like that. What does Dampyrus ult to do with charges? I explained that uh, uh, earlier in this game. So uh, if when I upload this video to YouTube, you can understand exactly what Dampyrus ult to do uh, with the charges. It boosts all of your abilities. Is the short version. <laughs> I explain exactly in what way um, on the other. Sometimes I even like getting a sheep stick on Dampyr if you have another carry in your team because. Then you can use it to lock down the enemy's carry, because I really like focusing enemies' car carries or their one core with them here. He's very good at bursting heroes down, as I explained, and get, like killing silhouette, like charge, leaping in, vampiric flight, sheep, kill him is really good. But in this game, absolutely not. I'm the si single carry in this game, and we already have loads of lockdown, which is what makes it not good. But I don't buy sheep that often on this hero. I'm, it was just an example of what, an item that is very situational, but could work. I use Steam Boost and Agility sometimes in team fights to deal more damage. I don't use it when I use use spells. Use in Steam Boots when I use spells. Mm -mm -mm. Why are you using the courier? Let me buy. Alright, jump inside me, let's go kill people. Uh, I'm on the Uh, after this team fight made, they should concede. I sadly was only able to take part in five kills this game, but I'm 680 GPM as you can see. So I've shown you at least how to farm very, very, very fast with this hero. But uh, I haven't been able to show you exactly the power of him running around ganking. It hasn't been that kind of active game for me, but I'll at least be able to show you his team fight presence here in mid lane now. Look at my attack speed and empath. <laughs> Jesus. Tower. I'm just gonna go in and get a kill and get out in four seconds. Three, two, one. Oh. I really like this Tundra, man. Good job. That was really well played. Is it too hot for you? Oh, quad kill. Good job, Tundra. You got some balls. I like that. Alright, well, that was a very... Sadly not... Um, the most active game, as I explained, but uh, hopefully you got some kind of knowledge from this game. I wasn't able to show you uh, how to set up and when you should TP to towers, how easy it is to like set up like here when they're pushing a tower, instantly kill a hero, have your t team TP in. There's a lot of things you can do with this hero. But I showed you, I learned you, I tried to teach you how the hero works, how to farm with him properly, what targets you should focus and what items you can buy. Next item in this game would probably have been a uh, Savage Maze to be honest, because I don't feel like they could kill me if I, like I could have gotten like a, any kind of like survival item. But I feel like Savage Maze for like ultimate physical presence uh, in this game. And yeah. I hope you uh, enjoyed the game. I ended on 7 1 free and 750 GPM. So, hope you learned something. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to YouTube and everything else that I have. Thank you for watching. Peace out.